Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains some basic math problems, things that might be common in your everyday life. Koi opens a checking account with $250. He deposits $100 into his account. He writes a check for $150. He now has how much? So we'll assume that, that we're talking about after his check clears. So let's start with $250. We're going to deposit. So we're going to add $100 to our account. So now we have $350. And then we write a check for $150. So now we have $200 in the account as soon as that check clears. A hot air balloon rises 500 feet into the air and it falls 125 feet. It's now how many feet in the air? 500 minus the 125. 375 feet. A rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. What is the ratio of the length of the rectangle to its perimeter? So we don't know how wide it is. We'll just call it W, but we know that this one is twice as much, so we'll call it 2W. So if we're looking at a perimeter, we're looking at the distance around. So let's change colors and go around. Here's W, two more W, so that's three, one more four, and two more six. So the perimeter equals 6W. Let's compare that to the length. The, right, the length is... 2w, compare those, w's fall out, 2 sixth is the same as 1 third, or 0 0.33 is close enough. If a 5k run is about 3 miles, then there are about blank kilometers in 9 miles. So, 5k is 3 miles. So something will be 9 miles. Well, if I multiply by 9, then I do the same thing on the other side as well. 9 times 9 divided by 3 is 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 and the units are kilometers. The miles canceled. Which method would correctly give the sale price of an item that's 30% off? Multiply the regular price by 0.3, multiply the regular price by 0.7, multiply the regular price by 0.6, divide by 0.3, divide by 3. Well, this one does it all in one step. You can multiply the regular price, price by 0.7. So you'd say 100 minus the 30%, so that's 70%, and you move the decimal one, two places, so it becomes 0 0.7 or 70. Neither of those zeros is critical. On the freeway, cars go 80 miles an hour. What is the rate in feet per hour? So 80 miles per hour. One hour is 60 minutes. How do I know the hour goes on top? Well, I know it has to cancel. So that would be 80 divided by 60, that would be miles per minute, but we want feet per hour. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I, I need it in per hour, so I need the I need to convert the feet. There are five one mile. One mile is five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. So 80 times 5,280, that would be in miles per hour. Sorry, the uh, units here do not count, so we're going to use them. The miles cancel, and we have feet per hour, and that's what we wanted. And that turns out to be 422,400 feet per, sec per hour. That's a lot of feet. So a standard box company produces boxes that are free, three feet long, two feet wide, and one foot high. If each dimension were doubled, what would happen to the volume of the rectangular box? So the volume right now is three times two times one.
So six cubic feet. And if we did a six by four by two, multiply six times four is 24 times two is 48. Well, six times eight is 48. So this is eight times bigger, or you can say 48 divided by six is eight times bigger or 800 um, percent. So here's one way of looking at it. If we say the length times the width times the height, then we just multiply by two, each of those doubled, then I still get LWH, but I also get two times two times two, which is eight. So it equals eight. LWH, length times width times height. So